Oh, welcome to Vanderbilly.com. This is in response to a request for uh, Roadhouse Blues by The Doors. Um, wow, one of the greatest rock and roll songs there is. Uh, it's from Morrison Hotel in 1970. And uh, in this lesson, I'm going to cover, uh, I'll cover the whole song. Uh, in part one, I'll do the, uh, the basic riffs and chords uh, and the outro. And then in part two, I'll cover the solo. So uh, let's get started. Okay, this starts off with a uh, palm mute um, on the open E string, all down strokes, six times. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to slide from the uh, E string, fifth fret to the seventh. So... Second time he does uh, the open E and then slides from the A string fifth to the seventh. And that's the only time as far as I know he does it in the song, so don't worry too much about that. You're back to... Um, and when he's singing, he plays that figure three times, and on the third time at the end of it, he plays this. And, and that's just bending the D string fifth fret half... Uh, half step and coming down on the A string 7th fret and playing it twice and then playing a hammer on on the E string from the 5th uh, to the 7th and the uh, A string 5th to 7th and back to the riff so slowly it's just Uh, and he does that sort of every third time. Now, right before he goes into the chorus, when he's singing, uh, you know, going to the roadhouse, going to have a real good time, um, he does something different. Uh, he, he moves into... But then he plays uh, this. So you're starting the riff the same way, and then you're playing uh, E string 7th fret to A string 5th fret. You're going back and forth between them, and land on the A string 7th fret. And then um, a hammer on from the uh, A string 5th to 7th, and then walk down. Give a little bend on the uh, on the E string third fret. So and then he plays those same hammer ons that he played before. And he's ready to go into the chorus. Okay, the chorus is uh, based on an A boogie at the start, um, and you're going to play um, 
uh, the open A, and then um, you're going to use the A string fourth fret and the D string fourth fret like this. While he's saying let it roll, that's what the guitar is doing, the bass is doing a lot of other stuff. Uh, and then he moves into the B chord. And depending on which chorus you're in, uh, he does different things. Uh, the first time, when right before he goes into the guitar solo, um, he plays... So he's just moving up to the C. And then ending on the B, and then he goes into the, which I'll cover in the next uh, next part of this lesson. Um, the last time he plays the chorus, uh, he plays uh, from the B. He's playing. So uh, what he's doing there is he starts off with this B, you know, once you get to the B, you, you play D, and you, and you get to the B, and you play, and you play the C three times, down strokes, and then one stroke each for C sharp, D, uh, E flat, and E. So. And then he plays this little riff, which is just, uh, you bend the um, E string, 15th fret, uh, up and back. And then down to the um, E string, 12th. Um, B string, 15th. And B string, uh, 12th. So. That's the first part. And the second part, you bend the uh, G string, um, 14th fret, uh, up and back, back down to the 12th, so it's, and then to the uh, D string, 14th fret, and back to the G string, 12th. So the whole thing slowly is just, And then he plays uh, um, a version of an E chord. You're going to leave the bottom uh, open, the, the E string open. And instead of playing just these first uh, strings, you can fret this, um, you, you can fret the ninth fret of the uh, E string as well. So it's like, so you're picking up the, so it's, and you just pick pick up your uh, ring finger, and that's the end of the chord. So it's just uh, and that's uh, those are the basics of the song. Uh, in part two, we'll cover the solo. Thanks for watching.